Hey, honey. Welcome in. Hello there. Thank you, ca Cactus. Thank you, Tima. Welcome. Yes, Diamond, I am. Hey, Mike. I can't get this old filter to come on. It's glitching on me. Every time I try to use it, I think I need to update my iPad. Hey, Pam. Hey, Jacqueline. What's up, girl? Hey. We got a lot of work to do. I'm going to start, okay? I'm going to start with Sam. I'm going to start with Sam. The sub calls go first. If you subscribe, you get a free call on the Sundays with Sue. We'll be in touch about which one. Um, but yeah, you can subscribe and get a free call. But that's what we're doing right now. Violet's doing great. I thought she did the Lord's work for me. <laughs> All right. I am going to get going, okay? First up is Sam. I hope Sam is here. Um, here we go. Thank you, Sirius Sophia. Thank you, Tima. Happy early birthday. Hello. Hello, may I speak with Kevin? Yes, Sam. Hey, yes. Kevin. I was wondering if you had a spare key to your neighbor's house. I'm here with a bunch of cats that she wanted. I've got about five Persian cats to drop off to her, and I'm beating on the door, and she ain't answering. Who is this? My name is Sue. Sue what? Dylan. Where, where are you from? I'm from the area, honey. I'm actually originally from Tennessee. Thanks for asking. Nobody ever wants to know anything about me here. Everybody's rude as hell. <laughs> but I appreciate you taking time to get to know me. Um, you got dogs? I do have a couple in the back seat of the car. The cats are in live traps all around them, and they're just going nuts. You know, cats don't like dogs. Dogs don't like cats. <laughs> yep. Damn, you got a, you got a friend named Sam? Um, I I do know that that girl. She's a wild one. <laughs> Are you single? Nope. Well, if you and your wife ever want a rim job, you know who to call. I like to be with couples, so that's perfect. Awesome. Perfect. That sounds good. Just let me know. I will. Is this your number? <clears throat> yes, baby. Oh, hell yeah. That'll work. All right. Bye, honey. Uh, bye. Thank you, Matt Josh, for all the roses, and thank y'all for being here. <laughs> I know the dogs are barking. Spanky's planting a magnolia tree, and there ain't nothing I can do about it. Thank you, Matt Josh. Thank you, Leo. Jacqueline, you're next. We didn't leave you out, Jacqueline. I, I want you to know, guys, if you forget or if you if you are a subscriber and you message me the day of, it ain't getting done on the day of, okay? Because I don't I don't have time to check it, but we will get to it. Oh, she screened my call. She answered and ended it. The hell. Hi, guys. Thank you for being here. Don't forget to buy your member heart. And y'all can buy your badges if you want to. But you don't have to. But the member hearts are dirt cheap. And they do help me a lot. I appreciate you being here either way. And tapping is free. Let's get it to 100,000 likes. Honey. The, that helps me out, okay, as a creator. <coughs> and that's free. Sorry. <clears throat> okay, maybe there's something wrong with our phone. I 
can't get the dogs to shut, shut up, honey. If I could, I would. Trust me. They're driving me nuts. Spanky's planting a magnolia tree. And it'll be done in a minute. Yes, my voice is like this, and your voice will be too as you're talking on those AA batteries listening to me. Hello? Hello, may I speak with Shelly? I think you better get off this phone. I need to speak with you, you terrible treasurer. We'll call one more time, and then we're, we're done. We're eating it, honey, because that was four calls. And I don't like doing over three. Thank you guys for the roses. And thank you for the member badge, honey. Melody. Thank you for the kiss, Matthew. Shelly, you need to take some CBD oil and calm down or something, because I was just trying to get in touch with you about the HOA and Stonegate. And those chihuahuas, those are against code, and you've been letting them shit everywhere, and if you're going to be the treasurer of the damn HOA, you got to get it together, honey. I'm on to you, and I'm taking this to the next board meeting. All right, Jacqueline, that one was for you, okay? All right, let's do the one for Bree. Is Bree in the house? Let me know. Is Bree here? Bree Ruales. Hey, I hope you have a great day. <clears throat> I hope you have a great day, Full Metal Jacket. Hello. How are you doing, Robert? Uh, I'm well. How are you? I'm great. I'm just thinking about you. Okay. Who might this be? This is Sue. Sue. Gotcha. It, it was so nice of you to give me a couple of extra wings, honey. Oh, at Wings Zone. Well, it's no problem at all, Sue. I'm happy to have helped. I know you like me. We can quit beating around the bush. Or, I mean, you can beat around my bush if you want to. Sue, is it? Yeah, yes. I'm, I'm very confused, Sue. I don't recall having served you. <laughs> you served, you've served me for quite some time with the looks of yourself and with the wings. Yeah, this definitely uh, is uh, a little strange. I'm always <laughs> salivating around you. I don't know if it's the wings or if it's your body. What is going on here? I know my dogs won't shut up. I'm sorry. Okay, this has to be prank call. There's no way this is real. <laughs> I know. You're humble, honey. I mean, no, it's not a prank call. I'm serious. You're, you're so sexy. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, Sue, give me a call in about an hour, okay? Take care. Bye. Bye-bye. Call back in an hour. He wants me. He he's down bad. Carrie, thank you, Darlene. Oh, David, you know already. Ah, that thing makes me think of that. The wild, wild bear, the dancing bear. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, the dark zone. Okay, Carrie. Carrie, stay golden. It's your turn, babe. Thank you guys for all the gifts. 
And thank you for the member hearts. They're free up here, and the tapping is free. Thank you, Tammy. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice message. Oh, thank you, Dom. I like cats. I just can't eat a whole one by myself. Another one, Dom. Damn. Thank you. Yes, honey. We're doing prank calls here. Welcome in. I'm booked up, bricked up, and warmed up for the day, but you can order more on my link tree. I'm booking up this week. Yes, I can call anywhere around the world. Your call has been forwarded Just let to an me know. Voice messaging system. All right, sorry, we gotta leave a message, Gary. Thank you, the dark one. Seven is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you finish recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. <clears throat> hey, Natasha, this is Sue. I just wanted to let you know your cows got out again. I think I shoot them off to your land, but I'm going to tie one to the tree right now so that my son Bobby Joe can ride it, or my grandson, rather. He wants to ride one, and I'm going to take him walking around on it, and we'll bring it back tomorrow morning if that's okay. Bye. Thank you guys for being here. It means a lot to me. Oh, wow. Thank you for that. All right. Sue. Su Psycho baby. Thank you, Dom. You like that, don't you, Dom? Dom is sending a lot of cat shit. Thank you, James. Oh, a third one. This is five total for you, Dom. You crazy son of a gun. Your call has been forwarded to voice now. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the t May I speak with Barb? Who? Barb. Who's calling? My name is Sue. Oh, yeah, this is Barb. Um, I, we have you on camera side swapping someone's. What? We, we have you on camera side swapping someone's Yukon with your door at Majors on Perryville. I don't understand anything you're saying. Let me speak clearly. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> I just inhaled an ash. What? I inhaled an ash. What I'm are you smoking. talking about? You, you hit someone's car at my address. We have it on camera. I did not hit anybody's car. We have it on camera, lady. Well, then good. Show somebody about it. I will. 
Um, I just had to let you know you'll we'll be serving. She didn't want. She didn't want to hear it. <coughs> I inhaled spit. I know my dogs bark. My dogs are well trained. They piss and shit outside, and when I'm in there, they do stop. But I'm in here, and they're in there, and that is fine. You can take a chill pill. May I speak for Trice? This is Sue. Um, I did one of them DNA tests, and it turns out I'm related to Kenny. Okay, Sue, what's, what's your last name? Dylan. Dylan, okay. Yes, and I just wanted to introduce myself. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um... I, I'm working out here at the Love Truck Stop tonight. I'm just a, a lot lizard, and I used a, like a whole week's worth of profit to buy that test, and when I found out I have family, blah, I was so excited. Sorry, I'm burpy. Someone just gave me a Miller Eye Life. I ain't never had that fancy of a beer from a trucker. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's, that's, those are nice beers. They are. Um, so, does that make you my cousin if he's my uncle? It may be. I, I don't know. I've never been good at that stuff. Where do you live? What state? Uh, Tennessee. Okay, that's where I am, too. How, yeah. how about that? I guess we didn't wander off too far, did we? No, no, not so far. Are you married? No. You're not? I'm not. Well, I'd love to come by and explore your body and just get to know you a little bit. Yeah, it seems a, a little unique for, you know, a, a relative situation. I mean, we're cousins. It ain't like we're brother and sister. If we were from Kentucky, you know, absolutely. But... Being, being down here in Tennessee, I don't know. I don't know how to feel about it. Well, I mean, it's not my first rodeo. It would be mine, and I don't know that I'm prepared to get back or to get on the saddle the first time. You I know, mean... It's not, it's not I haven't really thought out. Well, if you have my number, so if you get a little streak freak, freak in your streak, streaky, a freaky streak, that's what I'm trying to say, and let me know. Absolutely. All right, it's good to meet you. You as well. Have a good one. Bye. All right, bye-bye. <laughs> oh, Lord help us. That one was for Dr. Drew. Sorry, I don't think I said who it was for. This one's for Carrie. Carrie H. Thank you, honey. Hello, you have reached Cacao Chocolate House downtown, located at 1050. Hello. Hello. You there? Okay, they hung up on me. I think the dog's barking ad is an authentic touch, too. I know it's annoying, trust me.
Trust me, I know, but it is what it is, Annie. This number out to everybody. No, we ain't. I don't know why people need to read it back. You can visit us online anytime at kikawachocolates.com. This is a long we ass voicemail. Long wind. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. Hey, baby, this is Sue. I was wanting to speak with you, Bonnie. I ran into Tony at the chocolate store. And, um, I was talking to him about swinging, and he said that you would be into it, but to call you and ask. So, this is me ex my, extending my, um, invitation. Just let me know when a good time would be to get together and just get to know each other a little bit better. Bye, honey. Alright, April Rodriguez. Thank you for the court, yes, Matthew. Thank you, honey. Thank you, David. I'm horned up. Thank you, Emily. Frankie, shut the hell up. Thank you for the corgi ass, Ray. Hey, may I speak with Jerry? My name is Sue. I'm a neighbor out here, and I couldn't help but notice that we got a new neighbor, and They've been having their 10-pound little dog shit wherever it wants to, and I wanted to see if you've had the same issue. No, I actually have not. Well, it's been pissing and shitting in my yard, and I'm about to get a petition drew up. And get her to put the dog down or get rid of it or put it in a live trap or something. I don't know. I know putting it down's a little dramatic. I'm being a little dramatic, but... Over here. Well, that's good to hear for you, I guess. I don't know why they want to piss and shit in my yard. Have you ever seen it well, out and about? Which, which dog is it? Or which neighbor? Or which house is it? It's the new neighbor that just moved in. Um, it's a little dog. It's about 10 pounds. Are you, are you sure we're on the right street? Yes. Yeah, on the same street? Yes, I just want to be able to smoke my cigarettes in peace. I want them out of here. 
I don't know if I could. I'm a witch. So I'm thinking about conjuring up some spirits and haunting the shit out of that house and getting them out of here or something because I'm losing my damn mind. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of this, but whitepages.com, you can pay like nine ninety nine a month and look up anybody's address and it'll give you all their information. But, no, I never have, but no, like I said, honestly, I don't have any trouble over here. Yeah. If you ever need to borrow my White Pages subscription, let me know. It saves my ass all the time. Well, I got you, but no, like I said, I haven't had any trouble over here at all. The only thing I do is mine, and like I said, if we take a flight walk, we can clean up after her. Yeah, okay, well, that's good on you. You really should be picking up after your dogs. This shit is nasty. Other dogs and other cats and birds eat this shit, and then they get worms. So it's good that you clean yours up. You're doing your due diligence to society. Yeah, I mean, we usually live in an apartment, so like I said, it's always just been a habit of ours, so. Yeah, we really need you to do like a, we need you to speak on that, you know, because nobody gets it. We say new neighbor, but the new neighbor is, is this, the, we don't have a new neighbor, but the neighbor I have doesn't have a dog. Oh, uh, well, no, that, I thought I saw him with a small dog, about 10 pounds. Oh, well, my new neighbor is a woman, so, yeah, like, I don't think it's the same people. Oh, yeah. So she don't have no dogs? Me? Thank God. So, no, like I said, no, that's definitely not the same person, though, because, yeah, like I said, it's not even a guy. Yeah. You like beans and cornbread? No, I'm good. Thank you, though. I've never ate that. I'd love to bring you some by. I'm okay. Thank you, though. I'm actually on the phone with my mother right now. Hey, tell her I said hello. Okay, I will. All right. Have a good day. You too. He's so friendly. Tyler. Tyler T. It's your turn, honey. This is Zane. Hey Zane, how are you doing? I'm good. Someone, good? someone told me where someone from Goosehead told me you were in Frisco now. I can't hear brother. That's right. Who is this? No. Um, this is Sue, and I'm just letting you know that we, um, I'm working at a fraternity clinic, and we have a test that just came back positive. You are the father, honey. <laughs> we'll call back one more time. I believe we got disconnected, honey. Um, you are the father of this child. We did a paternity test on. I just wanted to deliver the news. Yeah, what are you talking about? Um, you know how you swab DNA on somebody and see if it's your child? Well, that came back positive. You had the baby. Oh, I know. This is, that's funny. Okay. Well, um... <laughs> Danielle... It's Danielle Stern.
has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not a victim. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Hi, Libby. How are you doing? It's me, Sue. We used to be wild together, and I used to hang out with you and Dennis all the time. I'm from Fitch Branch, honey. Fitch Branch. That's where we used to hang out. Um, I'm in the area now, though. I moved out here to Kentucky, and I was wondering if you and Dennis would be interested in swinging with me and Spanky. We're looking for a nice couple, and, you know, we know each other. We know we're, we know we're clean, so just let me know what you think, honey. It's been a long time. Bye. Thank you for the hand heart, honey. All right, if you want to book a call, you can do so on my link tree. I have a link tree on my page, Okay. On my profile, it says book a call here. You can also browse merch. I have all kinds of cool merch. And you can also book a call with a video, which will be done sometime this week. Or you can pre-book for the live show, which is what everybody else is doing for this live on <clears throat> Saturday. Doesn't come with Bob. Doesn't come with a video. Thank you, Matthew. But you can watch it live at 6 p.m. Central. Then my next show is on Saturday. I'm doing a makeup one because in Mar or in May I'm doing a lot of shit that I can't do two Sundays with Sue. So I'm making it up. Having a Saturdays with Sue when that gets bricked up and booked up and horned up, we're gonna open up the Sunday. So right now we're doing bookings for the fourth, and then I'll open up for the fifth to pre-book. That's cheaper than a call with a video. You can also. Subscribe and you get a free call. As of right now, um, it'll probably you'll if you subscribe, we do ten per live. You're gonna be on the twelfth, and then there will be a long last wait period because I'm gonna be gone. So the cheapest way is to subscribe. But if you want a video with it and stuff, then you can do my other options on my link tree. Appreciate y'all checking it out. <coughs> Just read the description to make sure you're aware of what you're paying for and what's expected, okay? Because I am not nice when you attack me via email when you did not do your due diligence to read the instructions. I'm actually an asshole. I don't give a shit, honey. This ain't, the customer ain't always right with prank calls, okay? Jessica, this is yours. Hello? Hello, is this, um, how are you doing, honey? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is this? I gotta sneeze. <sighs> is this Melinda? Yes. Hey, Melinda, how are you doing? Okay. Um, I'm not doing well because I'm allergic to all this cat shit and, and piss. It's your strays are leaving out in my my yard. And I don't appreciate it. Who's this? My name is Sue. I live down the street from you. Okay. Can you quit feeding these damn strays? Who are you? I'm a neighbor. And how would you have my phone number? Whitepages.com <laughs> Okay, so I'm uh, not feeding this cats. These cats are going to do what? You're feeding the strays. <clears throat> You're feeding these strays and they're shitting and pissing in my yard. Well, I'm sorry. They're still going to shit and piss in your yard. I wish you would They'll quit feeding them. They'll do while they're hungry. I wish you'd quit feeding them. Okay, well, I'm sorry about that. It's just who I am. Well, honey, keep them in your yard and put collars on them and let them inside if you're going to fix Well, you know, I would if I could, and I've actually kept a lot inside. 
Well, not enough because there's still plenty roaming around and pissing and shit in my yard. There's lots of them out there. There's only a couple of them that come over here to eat. There, I've seen lots of them. Yes, because you are luring them in with those. What are you even feeding them? You feed them scraps? No. I feed them cat food. Uh, so you buy cat food to keep yes. them lingering around, being nuisances. Yeah, pretty much. You should be ashamed of yourself. But yet I'm not. Well, I will pray for the Lord to forgive you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that very much. You're welcome. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. Cassie, this is the last sub call, and then we're doing the pre-booked. This is one that sent the wrong number a couple of weeks ago, so now yours is getting done, Cassie. Hi, I am a Google virtual assistant recording this. I hate this shit. Before I try to connect you, can I ask what you're calling about? I need to speak with Ashley. Before I try to connect you, could you please give me a quick description of why you're calling? She shot in my yard. Unfortunately, the person you're calling cannot take your call right now. Have a nice day. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hello, may I speak with Ashley Ashwood? That's me. Honey, I believe you shot in my yard on April 24th. What? I did not do that. Yes, honey, I have it on camera. I'm a neighbor of yours, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you took a hot shit in my yard. and I don't. No, it wasn't April, it was March. Where do you live at? I live... Down, you know, where you shat. Down the road from you. <laughs> Bruh. Hello. <clears throat> I know you're there. Yes, I know. I'm waiting. I just wanted to make sure you don't have hepatitis so I can clean up the shit. Is all. So... Since you're gonna play quiet mouse, just let me know. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you guys for being here. Please tap the screen and get a member heart while you're in here, okay? All right, let's move on. We got calls to do that were pre-booked, and you can pre-book for this coming Saturday, the fourth, and then I'll open the fifth. I'm on Saturday and Sunday, honey. So go ahead and book it up. It's a uh, it's on my link tree. All right, we're starting with 1706, I believe. Okay, no, we're not. 
Because we're at, we asked for a new number that works. And they have yet to get back with us. If you were order 1706, we're still waiting on you to respond to our email. Same goes for 1839. We emailed you and asked you to send us a new number, and you haven't done so. Was that a money gun out of the corner of my eye? Thank you for ever sent that. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you, Beck. Okay, we're going to try 1918 for Amelia. <laughs> Thank you, Samantha. Thank you, Kay Marie. Thank you, Emily. Oh, thanks, Beck. Country Village, may I help you? Hi, may I speak with Amelia? What about Sylvia? Is she working? No, she's not here tonight. Okay. Yeah. Just let her. Just tell Amelia that Stu called. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Does she have your number? <laughs> yes, she does. Yes. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Mother, would you please email Amelia and say, could you tell us when Sylvia is even working? Because this is the second Sunday in a row. Okay. Diego, 1933. Thank you, Cherry Jacks. May I speak with Jessica? What? May I speak with Jessica? Is Jessica speaking? Jessica, you were rude to me the other day at church. <laughs> and I just wanted to let you know that it really hurt my feelings. I know you're just judging me because you see my tattoos. <laughs> no <way>. <laughs> <laughs> you're making fun of me right now, laughing at me. I'm sorry, I didn't, make, I didn't mean to make you feel like that. Jesus is watching you, and so is Pastor <laughs> Philip. I've already told him about you. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Bye, honey. I, I love you. Bye. I love you too, Shelly P. Well, she knew. She knew the joke. Can you give me the, the iPhone charger? Unplug it, because it's going to die. All right, now we're on one nine one eight. No, that's some. That's not one that's already. No, sorry, no, we're not. Um, one nine three five. Someone in the Instagram group chat told me to piss off. Wow, I'm adding you as a mod. Are you on there? Yeah. I'm on, but I can't mod. I'm doing it now. You can now. Okay. Be nice to my husband. What did you say to them to get them to tell you to piss off? Oh, my God. Thank you, Jacqueline. Thank you, Imported C. They said that, um, they said Frankie finally came in after all of his barking. And I said, yeah, he's a character. And she said, piss off. And there's someone else who's... What's it. wrong with y'all? There's someone else who's spamming inappropriate stuff. Thank you, Matthew. <coughs> <coughs> thank you, Matthew. Oh, thank you, Amy. I wish you would quit digging a nest. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Your call has been forwarded.
forwarded to an automated voice message. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Eight. All right, I'm going to turn it down. Can't, can't leak the numbers on here. That's a no-no. Six. Oh, okay. Not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you've finished recording, you may hang up or press one for more options. I used to go to Liberty Baptist with Ed and Mary Ellen, and now that they're gone, I wanted to... Uh, I wanted the stuff I built for them out of the house that he now lives in. I, there was a wooden box next to the toilet that I made for them and the rocking chair on the front porch. I hand built the box for the cats in the shed is what I made for them. And, and all of the geese, I bred those if I could please have them back. They would want me to have them back considering we swing together. Uh, thank you. One nine six three. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording... I know, Amelia. Katie ain't working. Just return the email because we're confused. This is the second day we've done it. I know I asked for Amelia because I wanted to speak with you to ask if that other chick was there. Wait. They said Sylvia. Nobody ever said Katie. Yeah. You want me to ask for Katie? Okay. I can do that. Okay. <clears throat> to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up. Hello, I'm just trying to get in touch with Dr. Braswell. Uh, you pulled my teeth out, and I was wondering last week, and I was wondering how long it will be until I can perform ram jobs again, because I am a uh, lot lizard, and I need to get back to work. I gotta pay off my 88 Buick and put some gas in it, and I gotta feed my 13 cats and two wiener dogs and my husband, so just let me know when is a good time. I don't want to get an infection, but I'm ready to take this thing for a ride down there, honey, because I ain't got no teeth. It's all gums. It's gonna glide right on. Just let me know. Maybe the person on Instagram thought Spanky was saying he's a character instead of he's a character. It's all in the tone. So if that was the way that you meant it, we forgive you, honey, just as the Lord forgives us. Mm -hmm. Amen. I did not mute her. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. For Amelia. Hunter Village, Tina speaking. 
Can I help you? <clears throat> yes, may I speak with Katie? Katie, just a moment. Okay. Hey, Katie, how are you doing? Who's this? I'm a family friend of yours, and and uh, I was told to just call you and while you're working, because you're probably not too busy anyway. Um, I have a question, if you don't care, since you're a nurse. Um, I would prefer not. Thank you. Well, I got my teeth pulled out all last week, and I was... We gave the good college try, honey. Okay, this one is 1969. Ooh, this one is for, for Shan, Shan, Shanna, Shanna, yep. Hey, is this Ricky? Hello, how Nick doing? I'm good. Uh, I was hurt. I was told you need to bring your nuts down to me so I can check them out and make sure they're. Oh, my nuts? You want to see my nuts? Yes. Oh, you ain't in here. I'm I got a... some nuts that are so big you had to put me motherfuckers in the dump truck. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I'm a long oh, lizard. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Can you, can you, can you hear any two nuts or you need phone? I can handle as many as you got, honey. Oh, shit, girl. My nuts is so big, you have to carry them motherfuckers on a flatbed. I've seen three I'm before. You can them down, because these are some big old nuts. That's the way I like it. You, you swallow them? I can try. You ever, you ever choke on some nuts? Swish, don't spit it. Oh, Swallow you and... On some nuts for you? No, yeah. You, no <laughs> you be choking on me some bitches for a week. Oh, you think, but I got a good gag reflex, honey. Yeah. I don't know how your gag reflex is, but you gonna gag because I ain't wet my ass neither. I love to give a dirty rim job, honey. That just gets me riled up. Well, shit, I'll tell you right now, my nuts is so big. Last time I was walking down the driveway, they, they had gravel burns on these sons of bitches. You need to put some band-aids on them, honey, not get so much skin breakdown down there. What, what should I put mayonnaise on them? Band-aids, not mayonnaise. Remember, I thought you said you want me to put some mayonnaise on them. I, I wouldn't. Can, can, can I get the olive brand or should I just get the regular stuff? Yeah, I don't deal with that olive oil shit. Oh, shit. You ain't never had no olive oil till you had them. I mean, Popeye loved olive oil, too, but you know how that goes. Yeah, I know how it goes. I got, I'm taking a shit. I gotta wipe my ass. I gotta get off here. Well, you better hurry up and go wipe that motherfucker and make sure you use a good toilet paper because if they can break through that motherfucker, it's nasty. You know, well, I hate it. That. It gets up under your nails. It's the worst. Yeah, it do. It get up under your nails, and then when you go to... Your fucking nose, you got hit in your nose. It happens, so I gotta go. Bye bye. All right, you know, girl, you know.
Okay. 1974. This one is for germ. <laughs> Someone said, who prank called who? <coughs> Thank you, honey. Your call has been forwarded. Hello, is this Colby? <laughs> yes. Hey, Colby, how are you doing, honey? Good, how are you, baby? I'm good. I'm sorry I missed your birthday, honey. It's okay. I just, you're making it now. I know you're married to a famous country singer, and I just wanted to sing <laughs> you happy birthday real quick. Okay, thank you, darling. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Colby. Happy birthday to you. And many more. Well, thank you very much, Sir Dylan. I bet she can't hit them bars like I can. <laughs> I knew it, honey. Happy birthday. I hope you have had a good one. Thank you. Bye, honey. <laughs> All right, one nine seventy five for Jamie. Thank you. My list is booked up for today, but I am accepting calls. The next day I'll be on to do calls with a video. It's on Wednesday. You get a video with it. Um, you can put in for that, or you can pre-book for, for Saturday the 4th, honey. Hello? Hello, is this Ethan? Yes. Hi, Ethan. Um, I believe my husband approached you at the gas station. He was trying to get you to join the biker gang and gave you the business card and all. We got your tag number on your bike. And uh, oh. I looked you up on whitepages.com and I just had to see what you thought when you're going to join. Oh, I don't know. When is it? At any time. We, we ride very frequently oh. together. Hmm. Yeah. Do you have a little girlfriend or anything, Ethan, or a boyfriend? You never know nowadays. <laughs> oh, no. I just broke up with my girlfriend a few days ago, actually. Well, shit. Um, we are, we do have a lot of swingers in this biker club, so if you start dating somebody else, you can swing with other couples on the biker team. Um, <laughs> oh, no, I'm not. I'm, but you I'm don't like have to. One girl type of guy. <laughs> yeah, so. you don't have to do that. You don't know until you try it, honey. Imagine two, imagine four jugs in your face. You wouldn't know what to do with yourself. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, you just let us know, you know. I'm a retired lot lizard, and this biker game has turned my life around. My husband met me at a gas station, too, and he picked me up, and I ain't looked back since. Oh, yeah? Yep. Hmm. All right. Uh, so, when do y'all... You, you said you were, uh... Riding to Mount Scott, that Mount Scott Medicine Park area? Yep, that's where we were going. Oh, hmm. Uh, when is, I mean, I'm still in school, but... Uh, yeah, well, you just give them a call, okay, and we'll let you know when the next riding date. You don't have to come to all of them, just sometimes. All right, well, as soon as I'm out for summer, I might get, I'll definitely try to give y'all a call. All so. right. All right, honey, now you keep working that little cute ass hard, okay? Oh, all right, okay. Bye. <laughs> Thank you for the corgi-ass farmer. Okay, 1978.
This one's for flying great. Flying Ace. Thank you for the corgi ass, honey. And thank y'all for the for the roses and thank you for buying your member hearts. Hey, honey, how are you doing? Huh? Is this David? This is. This is Sue from the Irish pub. Who is this from the Irish pub? What's going on? It's Sue. Um, you gave me your number. I was just wondering if you have time to give me the, a shot of leg, if you know what I'm saying. What the fuck? I'm horned up, honey. Should I call him back or no? Yes, okay. Thank you for the corgi ass. Hey, baby, it's Sue. This ain't Johnny's Pizza. This is Dave. We got disconnected, honey. Well, let's get connected, reconnected tonight. What do you say? I'm grinning ear to ear, just thinking about that pole. <laughs> okay. I was going to do something. <clears throat> All right. 1983. Uh, this one's for Cynthia. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a... I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a voicemail box. It's not working. She's got her phone off or something. <clears throat> oh. Will you email them, Mom, and say, can y'all send us another number or give us an alternate, alternate request for this? Alright, this one is for PCB Done 9. It's 1990. May I speak with Doris? It is Doris. Doris, I don't know if you remember me, but we used to be good friends from Point Pleasant High School, and I was shocked that you would do this to an old friend and let your dog shit up all in my yard. Did you try to hang up on me, Doris? You didn't hit click. Hello. 
Doris, what happened? We lost connection. Yeah, I'm trying to get in bed to go to work. Well, you know what? I was trying to get in bed, too, but the dog shit was everywhere. And I had to pick it up. And well, I, just can't, I just can't believe you would say deal with it to a friend. Well, I don't even know who you are. Well, my name is Sue. We used to be friends back in high school. People, no, you've I lost no your, you've lost your roots, Doris. Yeah, I guess I have. Shame, it's a pity, Doris. It is. Pray it's for me, will you, Sue? I will. Thou Lord that art in heaven, thy will be done, thy kingdom come, and please deliver Doris to sense. Amen. She didn't even say bye. All right, 1993 for Brenna. Hello? May I speak with Patrick? This is him. Patrick, can I ask you a serious question? Why do you think it's okay to hit on a woman's husband? What? Yeah, you hit on my husband at Godfrey's. What? Which husband you was this? You tried to seduce him. Which husband was this? His name is Spanky. It, who? His name is Spanky, and he was a little bit embarrassed because you got him a little bit, just a little circulation flowing, but he's not. He is. He likes women. Hmm. Which day was this? On a Wednesday. Which Wednesday? Last Wednesday. Hmm, I don't think that was me. It was, honey, and you need to keep your claws off married women's husbands. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Can I sing? All right, we're doing 1994. I'm going to read it first. Thank you, honey. Oh, thank you, Ju Julie. Thank you, honey. The cigarette earrings are on my link tree as well at the bottom. You can get to the link exactly. Hello? May I speak with Dylan? Yes, is this him? Hi, Dylan. Uh, this is Sue. I used to watch you and all those little plays at Parkview High School, and I ran into your parents um, at the Grand Canyon, and, and they gave me your number. I just had to tell you how much I admire you. Well, thank you. That's very sweet of you. Yes, you know, uh, I know you had a birthday, ain't that right, on the 17th? Yes, I did. That's amazing. Did it? Was it good? Yeah, my uh, parents were here in Los Angeles, actually, so it was good to see them. 
Oh, yeah, I'm actually coming down to L.A. soon. Um, and I would love to stop by and, and spend some time with you. Um. I just need your address. Yeah, could you send me an email about that? An email? Or a text message? I don't email people that I'm close with, but I can text you. Um, okay, yeah. You can text me, and I'll text you an address. Okay, honey, yeah. I hope you're doing good. I hope you're doing well as too. Are you pooping? You're kind of grunting. Yeah. <laughs> Who is this? <clears throat> My name is Sue. Um, yeah, I used to love watching you in the plays. My grandson was in the plays, too. Okay. All right, I'll text you. All right, sounds good. All right, bye. All right, Jesus Christ, here we go. Why was he breathing like that? Was like that? That is my text to him. Thank you, Sharon. Sharon. All right, this since this one's for Lawrence. I love that Kool-Aid Man is here. S S Fox Hound. I see you every Sunday, honey. I've been messaging him and saying Kool-Aid Man and he has no replied yes. Hello. Hey, is this I hate when people do that shit to me. That's right, Larry. He's making it hard. He blocked me. I love y'all too. It's good vibes here today. Is there a reason you blocked me on my cell phone? Who is it? My name is Sue. I was contemplating coming into the ER because I got some abdominal pains, but I can't tell if it's just my IBS. I was hoping you could give me the pelvic exam because you're sexy. And I think you'd get something out of it too. I really do. Give you something to fantasize about. Hello? I said I think you would get something out of it too. It'd give you something to fantasize about. <laughs> ER doctors need to be humbled, honey. Hang up on Sue Dylan. All right, this one's Angela. Or sorry, Jennifer, 1997. Call cannot be completed. As Thank you, Sharon. Thank you, Emily. Hello? 
may I speak with Angela? Yeah, this is she. Hi, Angela. I noticed you just moved into the neighborhood. Yes, yes, ma'am. Well, my name is Sue, and I just want to introduce myself. Oh, okay, okay. Hi. I'm sorry. Which one are you? I'm sorry. <laughs> I live a few houses down from you, close enough for your dog, actually, to come take shits in my yard and you not pick it up. Um, it's not my dog, because my dog doesn't get out of the yard. It does, actually. Yes, it does. Uh, no, ma'am. My dog does not get out of the yard. It, it does. Shit in your yard. It does, and you know, this neighborhood it's doesn't it's tolerate dog shit. Ma'am, my dog does not get out of the yard. It does, it's honey. Inside the backyard. It does, though. What is her name? What is her name? I don't know your dog's name. Why would I know what your... What is your name? Oh, my name is Sue. Okay. Well, my, what's your address? Um, that's creepy, Angela. Well, it's creepy you calling me and telling me my dog shits in your yard. It she does. even get out of the, the yard. You're getting really defensive, Angela. It's because it's shitting in my yard and you know it. I am it. defensive. I am defensive because that's not happening. And you're, it's a guilty she uses, conscience. She uses the restroom in the backyard. She uses the restroom in my yard, too, honey, and I'm tired of it. How did you get my number? It's weird to say, uh, but if you must know, whitepages.com. You can track my ass down. That's fine. We can speak in person. I just don't know if I can trust you because you're awful erratic. I'm not erratic, ma'am. I'm just telling you, my dog does not sit in your yard. I'm going to tell you that right now. She doesn't even get out of my yard. She, she I goes think, in the backyard. Angela, I think you're probably Wait, on your tell phone. Me when this happened. I just know your generation. Happened. It happened yesterday. And I know your generation stuck on the yesterday. phone all the time, not really paying attention to their surroundings. And so you're probably scrolling TikTok. I do pay attention to what my dog's doing, okay? You're probably she scrolling does not TikTok in my freaking night. yard, and you need to stop calling. You're probably watching TikTok when she's in the yard, not paying attention. <laughs> Poor woman, man, I'm mean. Okay. It's a problem with her generation. There's no accountability. There's no accountability. Okay, <clears throat> this is when it's 2002. Okay, this is a fan. This isn't really much of a prank. Hello? Hello, Eric. I wanted to wish you a happy marriage. I heard you just got married. You just tied the knot and popped the cherry, didn't you, honey? How are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Who is this? This is Sue. Um, I wanted to wish you, like I said, just a happy marriage. Thank you. Oh, like Sue? Thank you so much. Sue who? Sue Dillon. <laughs> Sue Dillon. Yes. Sue? From where? Sue, uh, Sue Dillon of the world. I don't know. I don't... <laughs> Just, I'm a drifter, honey. I'm a lot lizard. I don't have a home location. I'm a grifter. Well, that's very sweet of you, Sue. I really appreciate you giving me a call. And yes, um, I love um, that you're calling me and sharing sharing the uh, celebration of marriage. Absolutely. Um, did you save it? Did you save it for the Lord, honey? I, no, I did not save it for the Lord. I gave it up the first night I met him. That's okay. Um, I'm sure it was still magical. Yeah, it's magical every time. I mean, it's just, true love. It's true love. Well, I, the types of cigarettes that you like to smoke? <clears throat> Virginia Slim Menthol 120, honey. <laughs> oh, my 
God. I can't believe that you're calling me. Of course. I hope you get a nice rim job tonight. <laughs> I want <laughs> Bye, honey. What did you say? I said I hope you get a nice rim job tonight. I do, too. Lord help us. What the hell? What did you say? I said, Lord help us. <laughs> Hope your wife's good. <laughs> All right, honey, I got to get off here and pinch off this turd. Uh, oh, 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 I don't want to hold you up, so. Bye, honey. Bye, honey. I love you. I love you too, sweet pea. <laughs> then buries his face in my cheek. Two thousand and five. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. Thank you, honey. Hey, Drew. How are you doing? I'm fine. How are you? I'm good. Um, I spoke with your wife, and she said it'd be a good idea for me to call you and ask you. Um, I'm wondering what you would think about swinging um, in the swingers club I have out here for the area. <laughs> well, I mean, this is kind of random on a Sunday night at uh, 8.30. That's just, I thought of it just now, and I thought I'd better ask him before I forget. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yes. What, uh, how did you get a hold of my wife? We know each other from around town. We run into each other at the grocery store all the time. Okay. All right. Which grocery store? Uh, Publix is where she comes in sometimes for a sandwich for lunch. Okay. I work well, behind... We, uh, we don't have Publix around here, so I know you're full of shit. I mean, I haven't shat in a few days, yes. But would you What's still, that? I haven't took a shit in a few days, that's true. Okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> I know you're lying to me. Well, so. Would you like to swing nonetheless? I lied. Okay, I don't know your wife. I don't. Okay, so so there. Here's where I'm. I'm not interested in swinging. If you're gonna lie. Well, I'm. If you could get your wife on board, then it'd be fine. Okay. Okay. Well, let's uh, let, let's get some more information here before we uh we commit to swinging. Okay. Go ahead. So, are you, so where, do you, where do you live? You've got a Tennessee phone number, That's right? That's where I'm originally from, honey, but now my area code is 937 Biatch. What's that? 937, honey. Ring, ring, ring a ding ding. It's me. <laughs> That's. I'm going to let you go, okay? You have a good rest of your evening. Well, let me know. I know you're thinking about it, so you can call me back if you change your mind. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Thank you for the lights, tea time, and KT. Thank you for all them things and disco sticks. Hey, if you want to book a call, you can on my link tree. It's on my profile. I'm booking out for Wednesday. I have some all open spots. I think I might have not at this point, but I did. I do 30 a day, so if not Wednesday, then Thursday most likely. Or you can pre-book for Saturdays with Sue. You can also get a call cheaper if you think, wow, she's too expensive, Annie. You can just... 
subscribe, it's like $9.99, and you'll go first on a Sundays with Sue. It might take a few for you to go, though. That's the downside to that. Thank you, Sharon. 2016. She makes dolls for a living, and they're weird, very weird looking dolls. I recently purchased a doll from you, and it is haunted. I have been possessed three times from this doll. I'm not even lying. I would like to exchange the doll from the one you have in the Christmas section. It's the bald-headed doll with angel wings. I like that one in the rosy cheeks. I like how it's bald, because some people have alopecia, and they, you know, usually dolls have beautiful hair. So, I think this is a very inclusive doll, and I like it, and I'd rather have that one. If I can please exchange it. Otherwise, I'm going to burn this doll. And I'm going to make a very, very public announcement on the news channel. Fox has already given me a spot to tell my story about your haunted dolls. So, just give me a call back. Twenty twenty two, honey. If you want a pair of your own earrings, say, oh, thank you, Melissa. You can go get some on my link tree. I'll link them in my link tree. <clears throat> go check it out. It's on my profile. It's at the bottom. Thank you, Gina. Okay, I should have left a message that was three. I'm gonna call one more time. Beep. 
まあ Leave your message for six. Okay, we're gonna leave a message. Unfortunately, that's all right. It happens from time to time. Hey Denise, how are you doing? Um, I'm gonna be a nurse with you at Roland, and they told me you're gonna train me, and they have your number. I will see you on the next shift, honey. I'm excited. Do you smoke? I'll bring you your favorite pack of cigarettes, and if you like coffee, I'm going by the Circle K before work, and I can pick you one up. They got an iced coffee machine, too. Just let me know if you prefer hot or iced. Yeah, I'm excited to meet everybody. You know, me and my husband, we're looking for a new couple to hang around with. Um, and I've got my special pineapple reel, my, my badge reel. And I've, what color are we supposed to wear? Because the manager never did tell me. Just let me know, honey. I'm looking forward to it. Bye. All right, 2023. Oh, thank you, Aurora. How, how are you doing, Aurora? Thank you so much for the money gun, honey. Aurora is a really, really fun creator on here. Um, and in my agency, so give Aurora a follow if you don't already. Thank you, Gina. been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. I love you too, Aurora. Thank you, Cloud. Drop Aurora a follow. Their success is my success, honey. Thank you for the hat, Emily. Oh my gosh, thank you for the couch potato re return. I, I missed the full name. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The well, shit. One more time. Thank you, honey. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. The person you're trying to reach is not available. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished Thank recording, you, you may hang up. Hi, Jill, it's Sue. I just wanted to let you know that I've seen you run your Lexus through my yard, and I'm pissed off, honey. I live on Jerry's Run, and I'm getting emotional because I can't plant my petunias where I wanted to. I wanted to plant them on my my deceased cat, Reefer's grave, which you run right through with that damn Lexus, and I can't deal with it. I'm just... You're just mean. You're mean. But I would love to talk about it over some drinks at Buffalo Wild Wings if you have time. Twenty twenty five. <clears throat> Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, honey. Hello? Hello. Uh, may I speak with Duran? Is he? 
Hi, honey. Uh, I am training under you on Monday. Did they let you know that? You're training under me? Yes, to be a financial advisor. I'll be there Monday. Okay. Who is this? My name is Sue. <laughs> What's so funny? Your last name isn't Dylan, is it? It is. How did you know that? You probably saw my ads for Virginia Slims. I'm a retired model. <laughs> oh my gosh. How did you get my phone number? Whitepages.com Did Margaret, did Margaret give you my phone number? Um, no. It wasn't Margaret. Who was it? You have to guess. Uh, trying to think who else in the office is from near Lebanon. Yeah, that's the only one I know of. Yeah, I don't know, honey. I don't kiss and tell. Well, I'll be there. You just come on in and get ready for some training. All right, baby. Now keep your hands off of me. I know I'm good looking, but it's against HR policies. I'll try my best. All right, baby, have a good week. Bye. <laughs> okay. All right, this is 2027. This is my last call of the night, and, um... Whoever sends me the most galaxies for this galaxy gift goal will win a free call tonight. And I'll friend you and you can DM it to me and we'll do it. Thank you, tea time. Yep, right now. Your call has been... Thank you, honey. Oh, wow. Thank you, honey. Yep, it looks like it goes to return. Go ahead and DM it to me, honey. Hello? Hey, is this Wyatt? Oh, this is Tessa. Can I give you to Wyatt real quick? Yes. Okay, give me one second, Sue. So. She ordered the call. Yes, I ordered the call. Yep. I must have put my number in, huh? It's okay, honey. Give me one second. It happens. Okay, here you go. Hello? Hey, Wyatt. I wanted to wish you a happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes, you know, I'm, I'm Tessa's great aunt. I don't really come around much, but I had to call you and tell you. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Yes, honey, thank you for being so kind to me and, and yeah, accepting it. May I sing you happy birthday? Yeah, I love that. <clears throat> happy birthday to you. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. And many more. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome, baby. Happy birthday. Thank, thank you, baby. Bye, sweet pea. Have a good day. Have a good day. You too. Oh, my God, Robin. Uh, Oxio, thank you for all the galaxies. Um, My gift goal was met, but you know what? It is officially met, so nobody else gets to slide in like this. But Robin XO, if you have a request, I will do it. Um, Just go ahead and DM it to me. 
Can someone pin their profile? Because I can't get to them. <clears throat> All right, but here's the deal with the gift goal things. Once the gift goal is met, that's it. I set up another one, and we'll go off that. But once the gift goal is met, that's it. Okay, you heard me say it. I'll set up another one. I'll do another call. I'll do these three and see how we're doing with time. Um, let me do. Let me see what I want to do though. Thank you, honey. Okay, a sports car. It's my gift goal once one is sent. That is it. Yes, we're obnoxious. Next time, make sure that the gift goal is active, though, honey. I get it. It happens. All right. Bye, Graham. I love you, sweet pea. Miss Sue loves you. Thank you for all of my su supporters and for buying them little heart things. And I want you to know that I appreciate you. Okay, let's get on TikTok and see what the DMs are saying. I've already forgot who the people are. Shit. I think I followed them just now, so we're gonna go. Yes. Returns the lab. Okay, Rob Noxious. I haven't gotten the one from Returns the Lab, so we're going to do Rob Noxious first. Hello? Hello, may I speak with Hydro? Uh, yes. Hey, honey, it's Sue. I'm just calling to confirm that you did test positive for an STD. Thank you, Sue. Yes, um, how is it feeling? Yes, just try to avoid rim jobs, okay? Um, would you like to eat my ass? Ah, would I like to eat your glass? No, my ass. Would you like to eat my ass? Would I like to eat your sass? No, no, my ass. I need you to get the same Would I like I have to this. eat your ash? My ash? Ass. Oh. I, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Y'all gonna get me banana, honey. Okay. Okay, we got one from Returns the Lab. Hey, 
Hey, honey, I'm gonna call you two more times. Hopefully, it'll pick up. Hello, sugar. <clears throat> hey, Leah, oh. leave a message. I'm gonna try one more uh -huh. time. Hey, Leah, it's Sue. Um, I wanted to know if you were aware that your dogs have been shitting in my yard. I live down Deer Road, and they're always nasty. It's hell in my yard, opening their assholes, leaving old turds, leaving diarrhea, leaving whatever they want to do, and you don't seem to give a shit. You ain't picking up the turds, and I'm tired of it. This is an abomination to my yard and to the Lord, especially on the Lord's Day. All right, that was all of my calls. I never finished this early, but I did tonight, honey. Um, if y'all don't want to claim the sports car call, I guess I'm going to log off here. But, um, it was fun. It was a lot of fun. Oh, thank you, Matthew. If y'all want to get a call for Saturday at 6 p.m. Central is when I start, you can. You can book on my link tree or... You can book a call with a video, or you can book a cameo. Cameo is open too. It's called red. It's called sports car. That's what it is. I'll pin it real quick for you. You should see it down here. It's pinned. It says Sue Dillon, twenty twenty four, honey. Thank you, Matthew, for 69 bracelets. Did you do that on purpose? Cameo is an app, honey. It's all on my link tree. You can go dig around on my link tree and see all the little tabs I got. All right. Hydro, your call was crazy. I'm saving it. It's going to be funny with all the bleeps. Thank you, honey. Oh, you want to sue dance? Okay. Thank you, Matthew. This ain't the right song. Oh, that was the right one. What is that song that's like, Nelly, I love you. Nelly, I need you. Nelly, I love you. I do. No matter what I do. Is this it? Thank you for being here, Lenny. That was fun. <coughs> Um, I gotta go now, but it was fun, and we
we will see you. I will be back on Wednesday. You can go ahead and pre-book your call. It's not a pre-book. Well, it kind of is. It's a call of the video. That's when I'll be doing a bunch of them. Or Thursday. It might be full. I don't know. I do 30 a day. So, we'll see you then. Book your prank call of the video. If you don't like that price, go $10 less. And pre-book for Saturdays with Sue. We got a lot of open spots. Bye, honey. Thank you, Jacqueline. Bye, honey.